What up? This is your boy Doughboy. And I am Patrick Cloud. And this is another installment of The Internet is Undefeated with our good friend of the family. Introduce yourself, sir. Hello, how y'all doing? It's uh, Theodore. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Teddy Ray. Hey, come on, give it back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all ain't got no noise. Yeah. Iron Man wasn't trying to give it up. Oh, and we almost missed our, our worst part. And cue the bad intro music. <laughs> Okay, okay. We do have a noise. That is, that's giving it up. Shout out to that. Internet is undefeated. Internet is undefeated. Internet is undefeated. Internet is... That was happy. All right, I didn't come with that. I feel like you put less and less... Yeah, you put less and less thought into these (laughs) intros now. You just (laughs) flipped the happy birthday song. Look at your goofy ass. (laughs) (laughs) It was happy birthday. Internet (laughs) is undefeated. See, catchy. (laughs) What up, though? Hey, well, welcome to another episode of Internet is Undefeated. It was a a light week. Not a lot of uh, crazy stuff happened, so we got a fun... We got a fun show. Yeah. It was light for y'all? It was a little bit. It was was like, there wasn't like too much like we've had some episodes, man. Oh, yeah. okay. We right. had some are episodes. We, are, are we talking about Jesse Smollett getting indicted on sixteen felonies? Man, yeah, they that's, hit this that's in there. Gotti numbers. That's in there. <laughs> they be trying to press them. I'm like sixteen. Sixteen count. This is somebody tell- that really like breaks laws and was like, come on now. How you sell- <laughs> I sell dope and that's how. <laughs> <laughs> How you sell one lie and get sixteen counts? That's a lot. It, it, that's it's too much almost. Yeah. Like we were talking all that shit, and then he actually got indicted. We were like, "Damn, yeah, nigga, all that it's better than <laughs> tell the truth, nigga." <laughs> I, I saw a comment hey. that was like, "Jesse, don't beat yourself up over this." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's like, you get it because he lied about getting yeah. beat up. Yes, yeah. but I think the police lying too. So I just think everybody's just. Chill. Act like nothing happened. You, you can't. Know? It's Damn. too big now. The Somebody, police lie. Jesse lie. Everybody out here lying. So it's just. Let's just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is I ain't never trusted the police. <laughs> right. That's what I was is, saying since the first, uh, since uh, the beginning, was just like, we can't rule out the fact that he could have been set up. Cause yeah, it's like, no, no, we can rule that out. The nigga set this whole shit up. He's stupid. Nigga, I'm no. not saying he did it. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you don't put yourself in dumb situations. I'm just saying I don't agree with the police. You can't go to sleep with shit and try to wake up with sugar. What? I was trying to say something deep and profound. And you were spitting and shit. The big sorry, ass gun. <laughs> can't go to sleep with shit. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Can we just spend some time on that? Go to sleep with shit? Shit. In your hands? <laughs> I don't know. With the ex- expectation I, you wake up like, oh, sugar. You know how they say everything? That, they say something, ain't there something about sugar and shit? Like you go for sugar no, and you nigga. get shit? I've anything? never even heard those two things in the same sentence. I just be trying to be a little bit too profound. I didn't go to school. In the I 70s. made a mistake. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I you don't know what that said. And you ain't went to a barbershop like in the last three months. Get it cut off. What Ooh, you, what you, I got one. Oh, I got shit, one. Go ahead, go ahead. Speaking of shit. Oh, 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 there we go. Here we go. Let's you go. That's segue. where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, go I, had to, I had to catch it. There we go. Just do it. One of the stories on the timeline Whoa. is a wild one. So, <laughs> did you guys read the Twitter rant about the girl who went to Dubai? No, what happened? Talk to me. All right, so there's shit involved. A lot of it. Oh, oh is it. there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just ate. Oh shit. So, there's a lot of these. Uh, no, you can go ahead. So basically, it's called the porta potty story. Um, to okay. me, um, it's really long, and I'm not gonna say all of it. I'm just gonna give you give the, the, cliff the, the cliff notes. Okay. Fuck you know about a cliff note, man. <laughs> 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 niggas always try to sound educated. Give them the cliff notes around well, about. Notes is where the niggas, niggas who, who were trying to cheat go- went. Right. Who weren't <laughs> trying to read. So oh, yeah, you're right. We know okay. for sure about that. <laughs> so basically, this girl uh, was invited out to Dubai by her friend, right? So her okay. friend is one of those girls who just be going to Dubai and coming back with money. You know, we all know those girls. I know a few. So yeah. she was, <laughs> she, uh, she got convinced to go, and uh-huh. she was told that it was a trip to Dubai, uh, they needed three girls, a total of 40K for an anything goes trip. 40K each? Uh, 40K each for an anything goes trip. And it wasn't to Dubai. My bad. It was to St. Bart's. Okay. Okay. For the weekend. Just a weekend. 40K in a weekend. Right? Where is St. Bart's? That's like in India? It's it's uh, it's not available to poor people. Like if we look oh, on okay. the map, we don't see it. Nigga, tell me St. Bart's. I'm looking for the Simpsons. So I, <laughs> I didn't know. So it's somewhere. That's, that's where rich niggas go. <laughs> okay. And right. we don't even see it on got the it, map. Got it. Got right? it. Got it. Google. So uh, they, they went. Mm-hmm. And you get 10k when you get there, and then once everything happens, you get the other 30k at the airport. And it's only for right? one weekend. At one the weekend. airport. Yeah. You get 10k at the weekend. You mean at the airport? As soon as you get there, bow. 10K. Yeah. 10k, and then after everything else, you get the 30. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm but pick- are they giving you the other 30k at the airport? No. 
um, after oh. everything happens. Okay. Okay, sure. so at the end of the weekend, I'm gonna need my, if I'm a hoe, I'm gonna need mine in the hotel room <laughs> before <laughs> I shower up. <laughs> I need that thirty. Well, bag. you hook her bath it up. Just give me my money though. Right. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time on this okay. because it's wild. Let's and go. I suggest you read it. Okay, but at the but this is the cliff notes. Okay, they basically meet up with just like these like Middle Eastern hairy fat dudes that just buku money, right? Uh-huh. Just like hella prints or whatever money. So. At some point, they have servants that like are just like they were like eating and drinking, having fun. At some point, the servants are like, "All right, it's time." <laughs> now you're gonna earn this 40k. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, do they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Put your fork down. Now it's time you earn this. Okay. So what do they have to you do to earn this? Cake. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she goes into a room. They all go into a room uh-huh. by herself and just. Four, four dudes show up, right? Okay. Take turns. I'm just going to say that. They take turns. Train, Patrick. A lot of stuff happens. I I don't, I don't even feel comfortable saying Just say it. it. There, but they, they just do a lot. A lot of fluids sex? are exchanged. Is oh, it sex? Sex. It's a bukkake scene. Bukkake. What is bukkake? Where everybody just give her that split act. Okay. You know? So it's like a train. So it's like an orgy. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're not... You're not offended. Well, I'm just saying. This. I mean, the way that you guys are saying, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that sounds crazy, but it doesn't okay. sound out of the realm of possibility. She ends up getting uh, peed on multiple times. Why do niggas like peeing on people? I don't know. Why is that from far? How is that sexy? I don't know, man. Uh, ugh, but okay. she just, it, it just. That just happens all night until one final guy. Well, just they just chugging gallons of water, like, oh, more for you, more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of, a lot yeah. of fluids. For the I'm pay- paying 40k. I need the, I need the whole experience. Well, the crazy thing is, I didn't even know this happened. But uh, essentially, the last guy of the night, I, apparently, this dude was the headliner. <laughs> 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 ah, you ready for your headline? He's gonna close this out. <laughs> this what does he do? Chappelle of orgies. What does he do? Man, he takes a hyena squat over her. No, no, no. First of all, she goes into the bed, back into the bed after I guess P- a break. Pee on her, yeah. nigga. Have you ever seen Dexter? No. Okay, well, Dexter's a serial killer who plastics up the room before a kill, okay. right? Right. She goes into the room. There's plastic everywhere. So she think I'm going to die, but it's No, like actually, okay. her first thought is, well, I guess I'm getting peed on again. Like, she's down. She also said that her boyfriend at home, right? Right. Pe- peed on her all the time, so she didn't mind. So, so she niggas are just out here peeing on women, and they're uh, letting it happen. For the centuries, how do you think we get past? Have you peed on a woman before? Get never. Past? Have you peed on a woman? No. I've never even been asked, and any, I wouldn't do it. Any Wait, you've, any you've never been asked to pee on her? I've never out. been asked to pee on anybody. Oh, they're not going to ask you. You just got to do it. I, that's you just, just got to do it. How is that sexy? I just, okay, but anyway. You got to know who to pee on. You're not just going to pee on anybody. But why pee on anyone? It's not, it doesn't make me want to fuck her. Like, after she got pee on her, I'm like, you smell like pee. Which is crazy. That's why we did it in the shower. Yeah, for some reason, it's Am always the in the shower. Am I crazy one? No, you're not. They are. But they, but they, again, they do it in be... the shower because it's like, well, easy cleanup. It's like, you're disgusting. <sighs> okay, so. It don't so, matter how many showers so you he take, took you got a, on. He took a squat over her and boo-booed? Boo-booed on her chest. And she started throwing up uncontrollably, and he, she was like, he was like, if you don't let me do this, you ain't getting paid. <laughs> and she literally- So he's already just ass out, but just shit ah! coming out. Let me finish, or you will not get. <laughs> uh, you will get. You gotta think. He clenched just, up the last little. He like he like he, he put the turtle head back in. Like wait yeah, wait wait, you will not get paid. <laughs> and retracted it. Retracted it. <laughs> will you allow it? Okay. <laughs> ah, this is sexy to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weirdo. <laughs> Who does this shit? All Nasty these, motherfucker. All these niggas need to be slapped. Oh. Take your goggles off, man. <laughs> and then you want a fucking chick after you shit on her? Well, here's the weird. Well, now I want. Her no more. You know Let me suck your boobies, you know weirdo. The, you know what the weirdest thing is? She said, "In this moment, I've never wanted my boyfriend to cuddle and hug me more." I was like, "You dirty nasty bitch." So I took you to get shitted shit on. on. Literally. Miles. I hope Literally. he saw this. I hope he read this and did not. Cuddle. So did she get that other thirty k? She couldn't stop throwing up, so she did not. You know, they, you, you know, they probably brought him in for that. Like, he, he was a guy bringing... <laughs> Push bring her in, to the limit. Bring in, Kabo- <laughs> bring in Kabooby. Why is Kabooby coming won. in? They bring in Kabooby because they know nobody can take his shit to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> they give him, like, hella chicken curry and shit. They only they had, they there. had 30K to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we don't got no... Kabooby, you got 150K. Kabooby is affecting the bottom line. 
Know, they know nobody can let Kabubi sit on them. They in the back trying to think of new disgusting shit. Like, these bitches are really down. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> shit on her chest. Oh, uh, we don't have 30K. We got to figure something out. Kabubi is the. They're still here. I don't know why. His name is Kabubi in my name now. So Kabubi ruined everything. Somebody walked back. He goes, no word. I got her. Kabubi. She said this. Well, this has been another failed clean episode. <laughs> Give us sponsorship. Now, talking about shitting oh, on chest. Oh, this supposed to be clean? No, no I mean, no, no, no. it was, talk, it was, it was thrown out there. It was floated nah, out. shit. <laughs> you know that shit ain't going So she just went home with a shitty chest and 10K. 10K. And she was trying to act like, well, I was good with the 10K. Bitch, the no, fucked up part is she probably went home and her man sucked the titties, not even knowing <laughs> yeah. what he was putting in his car. <laughs> no, the fuck Come fucked here, up. baby. It tastes a little different. Yeah, I bet it do. That's, that's Kabooby. <laughs> You, <laughs> Kabubi left start. his mark Fucking tattoo You sit on the bitch She yours forever <laughs> She ain't gonna never forget This shit on her chest <laughs> Oh Kabubi You nasty motherfucker <laughs> Kabubi <laughs> God <laughs> damn <laughs> Woo shit Nigga that is Hilarious Yeah And then she went home To go tweet about the this best part, <laughs> The best part A story too, like, <laughs> Different tweets In my mind Somebody else on that trip Landed and was like, fuck this, and went home with the 10K, and they both came <laughs> home with the same amount of money. Right. But you got, got shit on shit your chest and pee in your hair. <laughs> Bitch, that's why they call it porta potty. Oh, I get it. Oh, well, I get was, it now. That wasn't even like a twist or like an wow. intelligent part. The, oh! oh. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Oh, I get it. That's why Dude, you said, speaking of shit. Oh, so she just out here smelling like shit and pee. Kabooby don't give a 10K'd fuck. 10K'd up. I'm pretty sure, you know, she showered up, did her thing, but they you, don't make you water, gotta wear that. Nigga, they don't make water hot enough <laughs> to, to wash shit off your chest. I'm you, worried about these niggas that are walking around. Like, would you ever pee on a girl with your friends and they said that they left laughing and high-fiving? Put it like this. I what won't even... Shit? I mean, I yeah, won't even, if, if I'm not, okay, I'm not, I don't participate <laughs> in activity like that, but if I did, it would be fun. I would treat it like Disneyland, nigga. I would make the homies tear tickets for this bitch. <laughs> would, you, would, you, would, you, would you shit on a girl? Huh? I said if I was about that life, if Would I you was shit on a girl, if they just said Teddy, billionaire oil man, I don't even like <laughs> shitting like Maybe. that. I won't even shit in front of a girl. Like I hate it when you For be in real. a relationship and girls just feel like they can come in the bathroom. Hey, bitch, close the door. I'm using the bathroom. Have you ever had to shit outside? I yeah. have shit outside before. Really? I was yeah. expecting a no for both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bears. <laughs> <laughs> we, we humans. What the fuck? You ain't never had to just shit. Going around. Oh, okay. Boom, 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 <laughs> Stole me a picnic basket. Pick a tree, any tree. You ain't never sit outside, Patrick? Ever in your life? I have. I was just expecting yeah. nose. Yeah, I said about it. Yeah. But I, I shit it in alleys before. <laughs> what what alley about? are you in? <laughs> Korea you town. Like, I was just cop a squat. <laughs> Korea town. They were, they, it was a little bit of racism when nobody let me use that bathroom. And you had to just handle your business? <laughs> they probably called the fucking wildlife associates like, there is a California. Black bear shitting in the. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Could you get that? They shot this nigga with a tranquilizer. <laughs> Neighbors was looking and shit. I was waving at people in that apartment. Traces of backwoods and typhoons. <laughs> what was here? <laughs> shit. So it wasn't even in the wilderness. It was in the city streets. I'm from the city. Where did you, you shit, nigga? Uh, the mountains, my nigga? No, I sit behind the school. You don't travel. I exactly. sit behind the school and wipe my ass with a leaf. Exactly. <laughs> Leafs in my ass. That shit gave you rashes. <laughs> but we, if you walk around you downtown. Hemorrhoids. If, no if you walk boy. around downtown LA long enough, you'll just see somebody. Niggas be shitting downtown LA like they, like. <laughs> we, go. we just be walking back from lunch. They just be, hey, hey, how you doing? You got, some, you got some spare change? No, shit. Reading the paper and shit about <laughs> niggas. Hey, guys. Niggas hey, ain't a bad We are not about to skate past you shitting behind the school. <laughs> 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 this nigga, dumb boys, are running your sex offender around this bitch. <laughs> did, you go, did you go to this school? It was when I was a kid. What school? It was John Cabrillo. I shit on that motherfucker. What grade were you in? Like seventh. And you was just like, fuck the bathroom. I just had to shit. I think that's when I found out I was lactose. And I was just out playing, and the bathrooms was locked. I was like, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> nigga wiped his ass with leaves. Nigga, you, you ever wiped your ass with debris? <laughs> so fucked up, fam. Yeah, like I used eight. to wipe my ass with my undershirt. What? Oh, why are you? I just come back with loose Why ass. are you wiping your ass with an undershirt? Cause, nigga, where? I ain't picking up no leaf, though, boy. 
That's nasty. You get a handful of these, but they crumble when they get in right. there. Right. Like ah. Nigga, your undershirt. <laughs> you just had a shitty undershirt that was <laughs> No, I threw that motherfucker away. <laughs> I left it actually in the alley. You just left it there? Yeah. Oh, this was in the alley. Yeah. This alley this story was, just gets more and more layered. This is so old. <laughs> like, nigga, we used to wear hella. We used it to was an opioid deal shirts. going bad. Like, what? <laughs> opioids? <laughs> Y'all act like this is I got song. nervous, got bubble guts, had to shit at once. <laughs> and I had to leave before the police get there. there was a dead body. <laughs> I had to throw them off my trail. I left my shitty undershirt. Nigga, <laughs> you shit it on campus. That's I did. I did. That's nasty. Where'd you shit at, Pat? Just tell our shit stories. <laughs> um, damn, where'd I shit at? I shit at, I was camping. Well, that's normal, right? So what did you do? You, did you bury it in dirt like they say? No, I just let it just walk to bed. <laughs> <laughs> like a real human. I had, I had toilet paper, though. Yeah, toilet paper? Yeah. Fancy. You ain't living life unless you got debris and wipe your ass. <laughs> debris? You're too privileged. Well, what do y'all What do y'all wipe your ass with when you re- figure out you're out of toilet paper at home? And you, mm. have, to do that, you have to do that walk around the house? That's a fast, I use fast food napkins. I've done that. They're, re- they're relatively rough. Pa- paper towels The brown joints, pa- and they'll stop up your toilet. You know them paper towel commercials? Quicker, swiffer, yeah. upper. Do not apply to the ass. I wipe, I, wipe, I, wipe my ass with, I wipe. I wipe my ass with notebook paper in a, in a public oh. bathroom. <laughs> That's tough. I was in a public bathroom and you they ran out, but I had my backpack and I was just like, uh. was it still attached to the notebook? No, I had to take it out, but I was that was a rough. I was like, ooh. <laughs> you, you know when you do this, ooh. You know that you thought uh, it was gonna be soft. You thought it was gonna be. I soft. had to do you it. You know that public school um, toilet paper, the brown shit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that, that was shit the worst. hurts. It's yeah. like soft cardboard. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't never slid a sock off. <gasps> Why are you in situations you where there's using, not things? You're that, using clothing? Y'all, shirts, you said you use notebook paper. Shirts, nigga, my shirts and socks, nigga. I'm using things that are soft. <laughs> things that I won't yeah, eat using, again. <laughs> shit that I got hell of. I'm nigga. using debris and notebook paper. I got 9,000 other shirts. <laughs> Does that mean I... 1,000 socks, nigga. <laughs> I'm using... <laughs> what did I say about me? Am I into... Have you ever slid a sock? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was saying we didn't have no toilet paper. That's what we were talking about, right? <laughs> That sock went from one bad went from one bad situation to worse. First it was on your steak and foot. Then it went in your ass. That sock did not deserve that life to go from your foot to your ass. Yeah, I'm going to sock you in the fucking back, nigga. All right, bro. I'm just on Teddy's foot. That's my, wait, wait, where is he taking us? No. <laughs> that sock must have been a terrible person to get that in their life. <laughs> it's a natural situation. A lot of people go through it. Nigga, I ain't never met a nigga who said you ever had to slide a sock off. No, Teddy, I have not. I've never shit it out of school. <laughs> I've never put leaves up my ass. I've never put a sock I... in my ass or a t shirt. No, that's more logical to me. <laughs> Socks and shirts in your yes, ass? Yes. Fucking. Yeah, sock. <laughs> it reminds me of the toilet paper sandwich. What are we doing? Sock puppy? <laughs> <laughs> we got another job. Sock puppets. I'm just trying to think what the and other side. The and then it just had to live with the shit. They're like, ah, oh, it's still on us. It was thrown on the floor with shit on it. Hell yeah, no, I took the other it side was looking at it like, damn. Yeah. You take that could have been me. It absolutely could have been you. 50-50 shot, it could have been you. Damn, righty. <laughs> righty? Yeah, righty, what happened? Oh, shit. That's my oh, ab workout for the day. That, that was sense. funny. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I thought, I, that not. Was, I thought a lot of people. You're just a resourceful nigga. Right. I got you. <laughs> I didn't know that was such a wild concept. I'm, th- I'm 39. Never met a nigga that wiped his ass with a sock. You're the first. <laughs> He's like, no you are paper? one of one. Well. <laughs> you know That's what time it is. Sock was like, no, no, I don't That's deserve it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, what can I use that I don't care about? One of these socks. Oh, God. <sighs> hey, uh, guess what? Speaking of socked, oh, why be oh, in the oh, No, no. <laughs> no. I, my bad. That was clever and right. disrespectful. Okay, the, so that's The transition about. was cool. But okay. if you guys haven't heard uh, rapper YBN <sighs> Almighty J. Got uh, he got jumped. He was in New York, right? Right, right, right. And his chain was stolen. I'll play the clip again. Got that New York uh. But um, it's messed up. It's a lot of niggas. First off, got his ass out. This man. Yeah, why are you taking his the nigga whole pants ass off? Is out. Right, this nigga. Got Damn, him. that's like a, the equivalent of a titty falling out in a girl fight. Man. Oh, kicked him in his face Ooh. both times. This nigga is a child. He, I, he that like was. It, is he? That he didn't deserve that. He didn't yeah. deserve that. And he running down the street. And they cut his face with a henny bottle. That's the most nigga shit ever. 
His face is cut. I see it on academics. You know, academics is like my CNN. They cut his face with a bottle. So in all seriousness, in all in all seriousness, in all too old for that nigga. Shut up. In all seriousness, because I don't want to make light of a serious situation. That to me, I look at it two different ways. For one. The niggas that did it, bro, that don't make you fucking tough, There was bro. eight of them, and they were yelling pussy. And you can't, like, you, but you need eight niggas. What? Bro, what? there's nothing gains. I feel like, you know, if you, and I think Lil Xan said this, too. I'll piggyback on him. If you are going to take some, if you feel like you're that tough, at least give take a nigga the, on take it one eight, nigga, I'm going to beat your ass and take your chain. But that don't make you tough. You call a nigga a bitch, and he running from eight niggas, and he was trying to square up with niggas, but it's eight niggas. So that's what I would say about that. But on this, on the flip side of it, some, these rappers gotta chill out, bro. Because YBM Almighty J do be acting tough sometimes. He be throwing up gang signs. He be doing a lot. You can't do that. Then be in the streets with a million dollars worth of jewelry and think yeah. niggas don't it's look at you as food. It jewelry. wasn't no. Niggas no, this is a million no. dollars worth of jewelry. What he had on. You don't gotta worry about out. nothing. Your <laughs> 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 boy will get jumped and have more chains on. After. <laughs> Let me help you out, dog. You're going to wake up with $80 in his pocket like, what is this? Do better with your life, bros. <laughs> but no, but that's just fucked up. Like, you can't portray that life. And then, bro, if nothing else, roll with security. If you can spend 100000 on a chain, you can spend 100000 in a year for security. Just be safe, bro. I don't. He's a young kid, good-looking kid. Man, they cut this kid's Paul. face open. Well, I'm not sex. I'm not homophobic, oh, yeah. but it's just a, a very. It, he's when you look at him, he looks like a child. Right. He didn't. That shit broke my heart, man. Nigga's 18 years old. This shit happening. That's just fucked up, man. Yeah, I, that's weird. We I jumping kids like for, for a chain. Now. Grown ass men calling a young kid a bit like bro. I, I hate ignorance, wild. man. I and hate, then they were recording it too. That's the other thing. I it's hope like, they get caught. Niggas are so likely to record themselves doing crimes. Right. <laughs> and then they in the they in the, the court confused. Who like, snitched on me? <laughs> you did. Which one of you? Flat? Oh, rat ass niggas, bro. <laughs> nigga, your Instagram. Right. <laughs> you put it on your page. We see, right. heard your voice. You saw the nigga on live getting a uh, shootout with the cops. Yeah. What? Yes, a nigga was on live in his garage. Like, ooh, I swear to God, come on, pussy, pop, 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 pop. Did, they, did like, they kill him? I don't think so. Did they? I don't know. I seen a nigga have a regular shootout with some niggas. He was on, uh, I think he was on Facebook. Facebook got the best shootouts. Why is Facebook having the best shootouts? They get, they just let you go live. Niggas be in Alabama, just Birmingham. Just you know, the, you know the part about that that just throws me off completely. If I try to put up a post with music that doesn't belong to me, Facebook, they will take it down within thirty seconds. But a nigga could get shot. They be like, oh, we don't know what a whole shootout. You dumb motherfuckers. Because <laughs> I produced this shootout. That's why. Now, if Kanye was playing during the shootout, <laughs> you out of there. <laughs> we see out of here. Is that what they saying? I didn't know That's what. That's a tag on the song. No, no, no. I, I what does he say when he said that? Weezy, yeah. What is, what That's is he what I thought he Weezy said. Weezy out of That's not what he's saying. Is it? Weezy out of here. I just say he might be what he, he might, said. He might be what he said. He makes a lot of beats. I'd be like, mm, I like this guy's beats. <laughs> no boy out of here. <laughs> no boy out of here. But no, nah, man. Um, shout out, man, please. I, I hope we get a speedy recovery for YB and yeah, my body. Yeah, please stop doing that. Just move better. And all you niggas that think you tough... That don't mean you tough. You just look like a nigga with no ambition, nothing going for yourself, and you got to find somebody who's doing something and try to take it from that. That does not make you gangster. That don't make you tough. So fuck those guys. Hey, bro, that, if man. you're not willing to sock a nigga in his face one-on-one, you're not tough. reconsider your day. All right, and they were sitting there laughing at him, but you're jumping. I never respected niggas that jump people anyway. Like, bro, you just a bitch. And you can't get down on your own. And it was a kid, too. He is, and he's sounded, little as like, they fuck. They all sounded grown. You need eight niggas for this one kid? Well, I don't, right. I don't think they needed him. Cause but why like do it? giving anybody trouble. But <laughs> he was trying to fight back. I, you know, you used to see a nigga fighting back like, oh, just just, just, just run. Just don't. Just run. But, I, that's, that's but very, on the other Once end, the cheeks came out, you can't. You can't, yeah. you can't. And there's always that. a weird nigga that does that. Like, yeah, hey, take his pants off. Why are you taking it? Strip a- naked. <laughs> That's not the- Touch his penis. Wait, why are you doing this? Why are you making me do this? Make love to him. Wait, <laughs> fucking, what? <laughs> Remember when Bally was the made that nigga strip? He did make that nigga strip. But was sitting there like, yeah, nigga, yeah. He was like, pa, pa, nigga, nigga was sitting there. <laughs> that ain't hard. Nigga, like, take your clothes off. Mm-hmm. You out here slapping grease on dope, and you make put the baby oil on. You weird ass nigga. I'm confused. Weird ass nigga, man. It's all kind of innuendos and belly. That nigga eating a banana on the block. It's all yeah. kind of weird mix. Yeah, it is. And, all right. All right. No, my bad. No, go ahead. No. I thought you had. I didn't. Thought I you had were done. No, wrapping up. Well, speaking of niggas getting in fights, 
You are, uh, your transition game, you three for three. I'll give it to you today. <laughs> all right. That was all right. I love Niggas in fights. Y'all see uh, R- Russell Westbrook's whole debacle? Hold on. Let me, court. let me take off the glasses for this. I was waiting for a point to make. Niggas got to stop. Well, let me, let me not say what happened. Okay. Let me say what happened. Right <laughs> right, put my glasses back on. I'll, I'll take it back off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so if you haven't heard, Russell Westbrook, uh, he was playing a game against Utah, and uh, he basically told a fan, I will fuck you up, you and your wife. Wow. And um, he seemed like he he seemed like he meant it. I promise you, you are playing. I swear to God, I swear to God, I'll fuck you up. You and your wife, I'll fuck you up. I know he was serious. Oh, mamas. Yeah, because of that, he was he turned to his friend. He was like, "No, nah, fuck that." Oh, fuck that, nigga. <laughs> Shut up, mama. I'll kill this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a real uh, LA. So nigga. No. Shout out to the rest of us. So All let right, me take off the glasses to make this point. There you go. Because he did go into detail and say why he got upset. He said the right. dude basically said, get on your knees like yeah. you did last year. And then the fan, they interviewed him, and the fan said that he said, go ice up your knees like last time. Nigga, who's I, yelling He probably that said out? the other shit. Yeah, this is what this is actual I, advice? To I'm hey, not, sir, could you ice up your knees? <laughs> I, we don't want you hurt again like last well. year. This is the like, thing. <laughs> this, is, this is where I will side with Westbrook on this. For one, there's the easy way to think about it is you're a millionaire, you get paid millions of dollars, and you shouldn't worry about what nobody has to say. But on the flip side, you're a person, you're a man, and people, fans, and I can just say this from personal experience, just from looking in the comments on YouTube, I'm right. nowhere near Niggas as Niggas talk to you like you crazy. Shit. And I'm nowhere near where Russell Westbrook is. Fans just need to just shut the fuck up. Like, you know, and they said they had warned the fans, and he was one of them, like five different times to stop saying shit. Yeah. You can't just say whatever you want to to somebody and feel like you're not finna have a reaction. Yeah. Right. I felt like, nah, he was absolutely in the right and fans need to shut the fuck up. Pay your money, watch the game. Yeah. You can boo, you can do all that, but once you take it further, right. nah, nigga. I feel that nigga, bro. I, I, I agree. I don't know, bro. I feel like on one hand, I get what you're saying. We do need to shut the fuck up. But on the other hand, like back when Jackie Robinson was playing, right. I'm pretty sure niggas were saying way worse. Oh, hell yeah. Way right. worse. But I mean, we've also evolved since then. We've also, right. yeah, uh-huh. we've had a lot of... Uh, that wasn't the greatest example, but I feel you. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I <laughs> just watched 40... Didn't even happen, Jets. I just watched 42 on the plane right. for the first time. <laughs> well, the I was same tired way... of Chad McMahon's for a minute. I, was, I can't watch another... The same show. way they had to clean up Allen Iverson and say no more, like, you have to wear suits and all that right. shit. Yeah. They should be able to clean up the fans. But I get it. Like it is that type of sport, and you should be able to like turn that shit off. You have frustrations. People got money, but no. But if a nigga but invested, there should be consequences. Not so to say like, like, yeah. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm saying if you say something, bro. To me, I'm slapping the shit out of you. I don't give a fuck if I work for the NBA, right. NFL, nigga. I don't care if I work on the View. I don't give a fuck <laughs> where I work at. Then you say something disrespectful, wild, out of pocket. Right. I'm liable to slap the shit out of you. Right. I could casually walk by it and act like it don't affect me, mm-hmm. right. but. <clears throat> I just might. And if a nigga tell you some shit like get on your knees, if a white man tell you as a black man, get on your knees, nigga, yeah. I'm firing on you. I don't give a fuck. So, Because it sounds like you saying suck your dick, really. For real. You know what That's I'm saying? what I thought he meant. Uh, right. But I, I actually didn't even know what he meant. But right. I think that you, you do have a point. Like, they there should be consequences. And I think that people yeah. are afraid to check those people because they are paying so much money. Right, right. But it's like they should have rules the same way that – the basketball players have rules. And I get it's an Absolutely. aggressive sport, and you should be able to tune that out. Right. But if you're trying to focus and you have a nigga saying, suck my dick to you right here, like, right. like somebody should, somebody, and there should be consequences. But where Russell Westbrook messed up, he did not have to say you and your wife. Because that's where he, all these cameras that, around him, that's he's where like, people, little kids look up to him. Like, you, you got to know hey, where. You have to know where you're at. You got to know what you're saying. You got to be West more Coast concrete. mindset, bro. Anybody mm, can Like, you that. and that bitch. But <laughs> the thing, and this is another thing people ain't really thinking about. This was in Utah. Now, I'm not going to cast a wide blanket and say everybody in Utah is racist. <laughs> I would just say that a lot of athletes have complained about racist There's treatment There's a bunch of Utah. cities that they say right. like people are yelling like racist yeah. shit, you know, even at the home players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> nigger, score! Like, whoa, I'm on whoa. your team. I'm your point guard. <laughs> <laughs> You're Hurry wearing, it up! <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing my jersey. <laughs> nah, so I, I'm side with him, man. I'm side with him because I know that fans be saying bullshit, so I'm side with Russ on this. So, yeah, yeah, I just I feel like the fan was in the wrong for that. I feel like fans should just shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. At the same time, Russ, you're worth over $100 million. You got to know. And you have to know in the social climate of what we are at. You can right. in no way threaten to hit a woman. I could tell. He's no, no, lose. no. He didn't threaten to hit her. He said you and your wife. 
Yeah. So that, that means I, no. He said I'll fuck you up. You and your wife. So that right. means what I'm saying to you, no, she I'll can get it too. I'll fuck you up is not. I, I'll hit you. Yes, it I'll is. I'll fuck you Teddy, up. Teddy, it is. I'm tell, I'm just saying legally. Legally. What, is, what does I'll fuck you up that's mean? That's nigga lingo, hey, though. Nigga, I, you I know it's a translate. Shut up, man. Watch out for your Okay, well, whatever it is, it ain't nothing good. Up, that's nigga lingo. So that means I'll fuck you and your wife suggest up. Suggest that I'm a sock you I know. So that's I'll, our, that's I'll, the I'll bring problem, harm though. to you and your right. wife. You shouldn't say that. But we try right. to, we try right. to like, blanket nigga lingo to everybody. And everybody I'll fuck you up could be I'm suing you. They no, don't that's know not what he you, meant. Teddy. Remember when? Remember when? Still, but remember when? Come on, bro. But remember when Fifty Cent? We need to start talking white, nigga. Nah, because y'all remember when Fifty Cent <laughs> was doing "Get the Strap," right? And then when white people got a hold of it, they were like, "That's a threat. That's a gun threat." Right. And it was really just like, "No, nah, nigga, like, it's it's just a saying. They yeah. don't they don't we we can't explain it the same but way." See, uh, side note, just to speak on that really quickly because I know we haven't covered it. A lot of people haven't been covering it, and we should. Matter of fact, Google this while I'm saying this, so you know I'm talking about the truth. Do you know that there is a police officer in New York, a police chief? That had ordered their cops to shoot yeah. Fifty Cent on sight. Yeah. Oh, I and he's hear suing about them that. now. Yeah, for hundreds. Of and hundreds. I feel like that—that's so funny that we don't. That doesn't get national representation. Like you don't hear right. about that. But a, a policeman had told them to shoot Fifty Cent. On yeah. site. On site, and there's no repercussions. Like, and it's just swept under Inspector the rug. Inspector Emmanuel Gonzalez is accused of telling officers during a June 7 roll call last summer to shoot 50 Cent on site if they saw him at a boxing match in the Bronx that the rapper was expected to attend. That's a hit. Let's put a hit on yeah. him, and then it, how is that cool? That's literally literally but but, but just think chief. but think about the gravity of what you just said. You said when he was saying get the strap, people were taking that as a threat. Meanwhile, a He's cop actually a cop actually said kill this nigga if you see him. And y'all you know, want to like, talk about that? Right. Old news. Yeah, that's it, on man. site is a yeah. real threat. Maybe. Absolutely, that's wild. From a police a police chief. And then you work, then you be seeing shit like when cops be killing black men and they don't ever go to jail. You just think it's a coincidence. Nah, this shit is something different. And that's, that's a million. That's a, that's a millionaire nigga. What you think they going to do to regular niggas in the street? Reason that's what I'm saying. Four thousand and eighty three. Why mm-hmm. niggas don't fuck with the police? It took uh, fifty cent. It took putting a hit on fifty cent to get some news, and it barely got covered. So you're right. Like it, this could be happening all the but time. But let him say, "Get the strap," and you damn near want to federally indict the nigga for saying some right. shit. And how many times did that hit go through? Like all these black people we see getting shot, and we don't know why. Come that could have just been. It could have been a hit. Come on. He did something. He slept with my daughter. He did some weird shit. Oh, don't ever Pull think. That nigga over. Oh, don't ever yeah. think that that don't really happen. I got a homeboy who's a cop. Like, if you get on the bad side of somebody, like I've heard shit about that, like a baby mama situation. Yep. They be like, "Hey, man, run down." They will really do shit like that. Know who you are. Follow you. Fuck with you. Like all type of crazy grimy man. shit. Plant shit on you. All type of shit. That's why it's a scary. That's why niggas don't fuck with police. That's wild as fuck. Damn, man. Damn. Yeah. I don't Drug like you, it. so you sound yeah. crazy, foolish when you talk. All about that people. shit, and they and they and them niggas will die behind that shield too. They don't snitch on each other, rat on each other, nothing. They they the most powerful gang in America. Man, I've I've, yeah. I've low key heard that sometimes it's not even like a personal vendetta. Sometimes it's just, just like it. aggravate. Uh, if you see a, like a a black man from this age to this age, aggravate him mm-hmm. until the point where you can kill like, the nigga. Yeah, that's just scary, bro. That's really scary, and that's scary when you, that's when you start thinking like, oh shit, I don't really even have to do anything. That's why I'm telling you. I, I think I said that on the on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. I was talking about like that summer where they was. I think it was like summer 2016, where we were just seeing a bunch of black men get killed. Like I was scared to drive my car. Mm-hmm. Dead ass. Like, I was taking Ubers, and if a black dude pulled up to pick me up, I'd be like, I'm alright, fam. You shouldn't have to feel like that. Uh-uh. I know I just took a serious time. Man, you got hella racist, nigga. <laughs> you was, wouldn't even take a black Uber driver? Because I, that's a black man driving. I was afraid. I, I, I was afraid to drive as a black man. I don't want another black I man to drive I can't, for me. Uh, you know, say you're wrong and you're paranoid. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't drive for that reason, too. That's the reason you don't drive? <laughs> no, for real? no, I feel that. that's that's a real situation. It's well, my cousin got seventeen years, nigga. He was the driver. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Talk about that for real. Yes. Damn, Damn, man. What happened? What did he do? No, nah, he this niggas robbed a bank, but he good. He get okay. out in like four. Okay. But he robbed a bank, and that's why he went to jail. No, that nigga was sitting in the car, probably oh. playing Minecraft. Oh. Uh, oh, and they think he robbed a bank. Phone. No, he was helping. He was driving. Oh, he was the driver. Oh, you left a lot out. <laughs> <laughs> I said my cousin was the driver. I didn't think it was the whole man. bank robber. Wait, your cousin you thought he was a cab driver? Your cousin robbed a bank and went to jail. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to drive. <laughs> don't rob banks, Teddy. You can drive. Just don't. I thought you meant Uber. Driver. Yeah, like, no, 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 get away. Behind the wheel. I was like, I'm like, well, somebody put him in the car. No, no, he was no, the lookout. He, no, he was involved in the crime. He was the getaway driver. So he went to jail, Teddy. He was the joker. Hey. He was minding his business. <laughs> he was probably, you bet trying to make him seem all innocent. He was probably playing Minecraft. Where was he? In a bank vault? <laughs> <laughs> With a gun pointed at the register? <laughs> but free that nigga. <laughs> 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 
Hey, hey, Fred, <laughs> did they get away with it? Hell I mean, no. did they get away with the money no. before getting caught? Hell no. I, I always thought well, it was yeah, really hard. Well, yeah, they did get away with the money. I always thought it was really hard to rob a bank, but I don't think it's as hard as we think. No, it's not. All you got to no, it is. No, now it is, but back in the day, it wasn't as difficult. I actually knew a group of guys. Well, I didn't know all of them, but there was a group of guys that was robbing banks, and they had actually robbed a couple, but you know the thing that always you gets talking about Mac Dre homies? I ain't gonna say who I ain't gonna implicate nobody, but it might. They be. got a whole documentary right, about right. it. Man. But niggas just get too greedy, and that'd be the thing that niggas get caught. Like a nigga would get away with it, and they all be like, "Inside it off." They be like, "Let's just get one more," and it's always on that one more where you get caught. Hmm. You pull up to Dr. Dre trying to buy a new gun, nigga. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't robbing stage coaches. <laughs> I want the real. I got something I can set it off with. <laughs> oh yeah, man, shit. Dr. Man. Dre. Dr. Dre might be the worst. Rapper turned actor ever. He's <laughs> never did a good performance ever. He was the not, wash, nigga. That was trash. The wash, the wash is fire. Nigga, let me tell you this. He was Knock it off, he nigga. was trash in Training Day. Remember, was I was I'll pump you up. Remember he said some stupid he shit. He was kind of trash. In training day. <laughs> but the wash is fire. No, it was Yes, it is. Doctor Dre is not a good actor. When that Producer nigga was like, "Them niggas want to strap on you, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. You heard them, nigga. They started the car up, <laughs> nigga. Doctor Dre was <laughs> trash." <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dre is not a good actor. I'm sorry. But the wash is good. Uh, Surprisingly. I don't, I don't know if I could even agree with you on that. Shout out to DJ Pooh. DJ Pooh. Yes. You the sauce, bro. What right, else? Well, we are. Come you on. You wrote both of those? Huh? Yeah, he wrote Friday, too. Y'all yeah, remember that. Damn. Who got the pen skills? All right. DJ Pooh. And he wrote uh, parts of Grand Theft Auto. And he got that back. Damn. Oh, dude. Y'all don't know about DJ Pooh? Mm-mm. What do you oh, mean he wrote parts of Grand Theft Auto? Like the story mode? Yes. That's dope. Yes. Five? Huh? Five? I think since San Andreas, he's been working with him. Oh, multiple? Yes. Nigga. What's the uh, best-selling game of all time? The, 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 iron, the irony DJ is Poo. the nigga's name is DJ Pooh. I've never seen him behind some turntables. Uh, Well, back in the uh, 80s and shit, he used to make beats and work and shit like that. He was mainly in music. Uh, Fuck. He produced uh some of LL Cool J's shits. And how old is he? DJ Pooh is old as a bitch. I mean, not yeah. old as a bitch, uh, but he like 50 something maybe. He produced LL Cool J? Yeah, well, some of the harder beats when he moved, because LL Cool J moved to LA for a little so bit. So he probably did like Mama Said Knock You Out? Uh, I don't know which ones, but I, I'm 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 lost, Pooh. Right. I'm sorry. But he produced, yeah, he sorry, produced Pooh. for LL Cool yeah, man, J. Shout out to DJ Pooh, man. That's yeah, tight. Very I, legendary dude. I'm working on an album, so if you're still making beats. No, no, no. Don't send that boy Nair and Nah, nigga. I'm really coming up with some shit these days. Stopped the freestyle yesterday. He was on fire for the streets. Yes. I don't have a transition for this. This is just fucking hilarious. Okay. And this ain't the conspiracy theory. But did y'all hear about um, <laughs> people thinking that Chuck E. Cheese recycles their pizza? What? Well, it is <laughs> nasty as fuck. The box- hey, it's a lot of restaurants recycling their food. You think just- so? Yes. Like what? Like, Chipotle. Like, you think so? You think they up there every morning chopping fresh meat? What do you think? It's like meat from leftover bowls? From yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that what they're doing oh, is- Oh, no, 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 no. He's not, a- not from the day before. You're saying that if somebody has a pizza, they don't eat it all, they'll repackage it and put it back out? You yeah. just made my voice sound different. I just wanted you to know. Yeah, 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 sound yeah. Mm. Your voice been sounding weird. Wait, what? They're repackaging pizzas. So, like, let's say you order a, a full pizza and only yeah. eat, like, half of it. They would take that to the back and add that to, like, half of another pizza. That's fucking disgusting. And sell disgusting. that to somebody that's else. That's fucking disgusting. Well, I mean, that's what... That's a, a, apparently. So... Uh, they're they're defending themselves from this. It's an internet conspiracy theory that alleges that the company creates whole pizzas by Frankensteining together uneaten slices from other pizzas. Uh, it was made on. Uh, it was uh, theorized online by YouTube personality Shane Dawson. Uh, he basically said that when he went there, he came. Um, he he ordered something and he ordered two pizzas and they both came out with weird mismatched edges. One pizza, half pepperoni, half plain cheese, appears to be two different pieces sliced in half and pushed together to resemble a whole pie. I don't even wow. know. See, this is the thing that bothers me about that. Pizza is made at such a mass. What your grown ass doing to go at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> First off, let's talk about that. But <laughs> this is, what were you doing? Judging now? the food. Nigga, this is the kids. thing, though. Pizza is made at such a mass quantity. How is that even affecting your bottom line for you to be saving money for you to have to do that? It's know, right? cheap as fuck to make it. But I mean, if you think about some of the these, like I won't say who, but like these huge, huge chains, how they be cutting corners, it's crazy. Yeah, they cut corners. I never trusted. I never trusted them anyway. They got a rat as the leader of their band. 
I never trusted the band. The band right? just looked crazy. Niggas, the FDA comes in like, nigga, nigga yeah, we got so rats. They Remember the band was robotic <laughs> at one point? It was scary. That shit was Eat some pizza with us. Scary. Y'all really don't want to hire no niggas. Yeah, it was. Uh, we need a black Chuck E. Cheese. Absolutely. It's where niggas come out crumb dancing. They be doing that shit. Latrell cheese. Latrell cheese. He got a do rag. He just got all this drip. He just iced out. He got a cigarette. This is a kid's place. They got smoking. Do y'all believe that shit, though? You think they freaking signing the pizza? I feel like the food industry is doing so much The pizza would be trashed there anyway, though. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is so? the butt butt. Oh, I'm thinking of Shakey's. I don't remember Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Hey, no. Shakey's low-key kind of fire. It's fire, nigga, right? Shakey's got Shakey's the best kind of wings. Fire. You know them wings. We, we they got the those Mojo together. potatoes. Yeah. Them shits is fire. Yeah. Um, is it weird to go they to They arcade is trash, though. Shakey's. Been the bullshit. That, it got one pinball machine. take their restaurant and put it in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That'll you know what, be a franchise. You know what else is good at Shakey's? <laughs> they fried chicken. Oh, yeah. When's the last time y'all been there? I went two days ago. It's one right down shit my house. Yeah, it's right by my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Chuck E. Cheese isn't even weird to be in like Chuck E. Cheese. Like if you in Chuck E. Cheese without a kid drinking beer. I haven't been in Chuck E. Cheese since my daughter had a, like maybe since like she was like six and she's 13 now. So I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in years. Because their pizza was always fucking, but that's, it was always trash. But that's for grown judgment. It was never for grown people. It's that's for true. kids. That's a very grown Celebrating their people, they birthday and shit. And kids not going to focus on eating, nigga. They not, they don't give a fuck. They going to eat two bites and then they go play. They, you are actually so that's very, probably why Chuck E. Right. Cheese even was like, nigga, these kids ain't eating Recycle this shit. Recycle this shit. They don't care. Right. The yeah. well, fuck? Knock it off. Actually, I'm not <laughs> mad at that. Nigga, we can have it mozzarella and cheese. All of this. Put it together. Nigga, run it. Okay. <laughs> actually, that's obviously a very valid point. I'll allow it. <laughs> hey. Tokens ain't selling. Yeah. So do y'all remember... Uh, well, not y'all, but you remember the hot dog and sandwich question last Yeah, I last remember year? that shit. <laughs> last week. Um, let, me just, tell, let me tell Teddy what it was. This nigga, lo- this nigga, long, this nigga, Long Beach Griffey. Shout out to Long Beach. He brought his ass up here and said, "When you, if you put a hot dog on a sandwich, like in, in, into a piece of bread, it turns into a hot dog." Do you believe that? Wait, wait, what? If you take a hot dog and put it on a piece of bread, okay. it becomes a sandwich. No. That was that what he said. That's everyone. Yeah, I was like, no, it's a fucking hot dog. He's like, no, because you're putting it on a piece of bread. Now that makes it a sandwich. It's a hot dog. I mean, it's a sandwich hot dog. No. It's still a hot dog. I, I thought so too. Why are y'all arguing about hot dogs? Well, I don't know. It was just a random question right. that sparked a good a good conversation. Good Wrong niggas up here arguing no. processed meat. What <laughs> <laughs> kind of part of the game is that? Well, I want to ask you guys another question. Oh, <laughs> fuck. All right. All right. When you're born, are you technically nine months old? I feel like you should be. I've been in the womb soaking up game for nine months. <laughs> no, getting no. Because people say when you're born, that's your first day. Because now you're zero. in the you're in the world now. But you're, you were chilling inside. Right. That's no, but that's not. You weren't you weren't born yet. Life. A lot of people don't. The reason why because a lot of people don't make it out of the womb. You were still walking around. No, that, you weren't. You were just sitting there like this. If and they don't make it out the womb, does that mean that they died at eight or nine months? Yep. Old. R.I.P. That's just getting kind of sad, bro. No, nah, I don't know. Wait, no, 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 no. No, if you... So are you saying if I was born on August 21st... Are you technically nine months old? No, I'm one day old on Why? that day. Because that's when I'm born. You're not born until you come out of it. But you were still a thing inside. Here's my follow-up question. You're developing. I, I thought the same thing. But follow-up questions. What about butterflies after they go through the cocoon? When they come out a butterfly, are they technically... Is it their first day? Yes. Why? Because now you're out in the world. Nobody gives you credit for being in the puss. But they were in the cocoon. And they were a caterpillar before right. that. No, you know why? Because when you're in the when you're when you're in the womb. No, when you're in the womb, you don't get to make decisions for yourself. What's that gotta do with age? Right. I don't know. And then here's another question. <laughs> Does the caterpillar, once they get in the cocoon and then they come out? Did they not age? Are they? I didn't smoke enough weed for this. Yeah, day. what the fuck? I don't get this it. This nigga hitting us early in the morning. <laughs> when you're born on your nine months. I don't know, nigga. Shit, I fire on you, cuz. Shit, I need some <laughs> Do butterflies remember themselves 
and all the shit that they did as a caterpillar. There's no way to know that. You can't fucking interview a butterfly and for him to tell you his experiences. That would be tight, though. Can you? So butterfly, they be like, a butterfly bah, 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 bah. Movie just explain the life. <laughs> they do call Probably it the butterfly. Got the life of a, a black man. Just <laughs> remember when I was a fucking hard. caterpillar. Right. <laughs> no, I believe you don't. You're not born until you step out the vajayjay. Step out. That's what you do. Like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> now you are human, but nigga, until then you're just. That's what I'm saying. A caterpillar is an example of somebody who was literally alive and then went into these things. I guess you could consider a womb, and then came out again. So, did that not count for them? Hmm. hmm. It's all life, bro. It's all considered life. I think you, we are zero when we we're born, yeah. but we had. It's like. Going to jail, you know what I'm saying? You get credit for time served. You feel me? Like, no, nigga, that's not no. like that at all. <laughs> it ain't what like the shit night. No, okay, ridiculous ass nigga. Well, you, you in the room for nine months, you don't get no like half time on life, nigga. No, <laughs> you get credit for time served. Fuck? No, that <laughs> <Head> ass. <laughs> I think he explained it with such great. Because some niggas like, leave the womb at six months, you know, <laughs> for best behavior, good behavior. <laughs> like, you're doing good. Get out of here. <laughs> nah, so I, I think you don't start until you take your first breath on your own. Okay. Because anything else, you you use the mother for that. They feed you all that shit. But then once you're out on your own, now, even though you still need a lot of assistance growing, now you're doing it on your own. That's when they take the training wheels off. Okay. Yeah. I'll accept that answer. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. I uh, will accept mm. that answer. What you got next? You know, All hustle. right. Well, that was the last the last topic. We have come to the conspiracy That's why you were corner. trying to drag that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last topic. Cue eerie music. Yeah. All right. So today. Yep. Today is cool, actually. Ah, yeah. Today is very cool because okay. I have multiples. <laughs> I have <laughs> multiples. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a game, okay? All right. It's called Childhood Ruined. Okay. All right. Today, I'm going to give a bunch of fan theories about old TV shows and cartoons that we used to love. It's going to fuck your head up. And the bad ones, if you like, fuck this, just say, all right, Childhood Ruined. Please right, don't okay. tell me Moesha got her hair braided by white people. <laughs> <laughs> My whole childhood would be that'd a been a, That would have been a tough one. If Susan was back there and give it a <laughs> fucking minute. Every <laughs> micro brain was white. Braided out of Mo That's Chitta. what it was. East Damn. <laughs> that was the fall of UPN. <laughs> Is that fuck those glasses? <laughs> All right. So, coming in at numero uno. How many are we doing? We're doing a couple. All right. All right. SpongeBob SquarePants. Did y'all watch it? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Krabby Patty. Not really, because I was. I, 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 but you built like a Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Use that mic, low key. I felt a little bit mature when SpongeBob dropped. SpongeBob yeah. is for adults I was on as my, well. I was on my Comic View shit. I thought I was grown. Oh, you were watching Comic View? Right. I was watching House Hunters and HGTV and weird shit. <laughs> I was watching SpongeBob. <laughs> Lifetime with my Why grandma. was you watching HGTV <laughs> as a child? <laughs> I know. Because right? I'm grown. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you do got an old soul. Old. You've always had an older soul. You didn't know what a foyer was? <laughs> right. Hey, for sure, I want a foyer in my house. Man. <laughs> I just like saying foyer. <laughs> I'm in foyer. a foyer. <laughs> I'm studying. In I the like foyer. foyer and apropos as words. I like those words. <laughs> apropos. All right. So Steven SpongeBob SquarePants. All right. <laughs> there is a very, very dark fan theory about SpongeBob SquarePants that all of the members of Bikini Bottom are mutated due to a nuclear fallout. So they do look kind of mutated when you think about it. Low key. So SpongeBob, Squidward, Patrick, all of them were ir- irritated during atomic tests, turning them into the characters we see today. So the reason why is because they live in a place called Bikini Bottom that is under a fictional town, uh, which is a fictional town located on the un- uh, ocean floor under a place called Bikini Atoll. The only problem is, is that Bikini Atoll is a real place, and it was the site of 23 atomic bomb tests in the 40s and 50s, Damn. Including, wow. including some underwater detonations. So the explosions left the land and the reef exposed to massive amounts of radioactive fallout, and so th- that's why they say uh, all the characters in Bikini Bottom are mutants. So that one was that kinda, one makes sense. Yeah, that, that kind of messed deep. up. Wow, I saw. Yeah, so I'm gonna say childhood ruined on that because that <laughs> one sounds. The fact that there was actually a place called that that just sounds like an Easter egg from the from the writer and the creator. 
All right, well, here's a good wait, one. Wait, 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 Teddy, is it childhood ruined for you or what? No. Nah. No, he didn't okay, really watch okay, it. Got it. All right, did y'all watch uh, Powerpuff Girls? No. <laughs> what about Samurai Jack? <laughs> really? But tell us I'm telling you, I was, grind, nigga, I was watching Young and the Restless. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking Guy and Light. <laughs> guy and Light? Yes, nigga. Okay, what about it? Rugrats? I, I did watch Rugrats. Rugrats. Oh, okay, let's go. Rugrats okay. was my shit. This one's a dark one. Okay. All right. Come on now. Rugrats mm-hmm. was a, you know, as you remember, it was a fun show about a bunch of babies playing with each other. Mm-hmm. But if you remember. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys are, you guys are, we're picking you guys up. But if you, if, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a weird focal point around Angelica. Like they always like asked for her approval and she was kind of like the leader because yeah, she yeah. was the oldest. Of the Rugrats. Yes. Mm-hmm. But there is a super, super, super dark fan theory. That the babies on the show are all figments of Angelica's imagination. She's a spoiled and lonely child who has no friends, neglectful parents, and no siblings. So she invents them. She's the only child? Yeah. So she invents the playmates Remember based on. Remember she had the doll that was all ugly and shit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cynthia. Yeah. yeah. So basically she invents playmates that are based on the dead children of her parents' friends. So essentially what? all of the babies were dead. And here's how. So, yeah, dead children, right? Theory claims that Tuck- Chucky died in the same car crash that killed his mom, and that's why his dad is, like, an emotional mess, and you guys know that Chucky's mom is uh, passed. Right. Tommy passed away during infancy, so that's why his dad, Stu, is in denial and constantly locked in the basement, inventing toys for the son that will never play with them. Twins Phil and Whoa. Lil. Whoa. Right. Twins Phil and Lil were actually stillborn. Uh, but Angelica never got to know the child's gender, so she imagined twins, one of each sex. And uh, for some reason, they just leave uh, the black child out completely. <laughs> fuck, Man. That, fuck that nigga. Not even in theory. Uh, fuck this nigga, though. <laughs> so. You just black. You just, we ain't got Yo. She just wanted a black friend. So she was, so she was crazy with multiple personalities then? Um, I don't know if there was multiple personalities or if they just chalked it up to a kid I'm having call imaginary bullshit on friends. This theory. Nah, I'm call bullshit. childhood ruin. That sounds very. Well, they also said that they're also fan created theories. They're right. not saying that the creators would ever sign off on something like this. Right. Um, childhood ruin on that. Jesus, that makes a lot of sense. That's because Tommy had a, a brother and all kind of other shit. Like, Dill? come on, now. yeah, could have been dead too. Come mm. on. Now, <laughs> well, you, they you, they do say that the whole all grown up theory, uh, um, the all grown up series, is ignored in this theory. But uh, they say that we ignore that series, anyways. So, wow. <laughs> lightweight, we did. <laughs> I don't because we was all grown up. Fuck, am I still watching you niggas <laughs> right? grow up? Wow. I'm trying to see D- Tommy you get a girlfriend. The right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's childhood room for me. That sounds that sounds kind of spot on. Tommy just awkwardly asking a chick out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you you were interesting as a baby. <laughs> All right, there's a there's another one that's more interesting than scary. So mm-hmm. it's all if you're a fan of you guys watch Breaking Bad, right? Absolutely. Oh, there's one about this. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Did you guys remember Malcolm in the Middle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was that was the story about those three badass little kids. And yep. the, the dad was actually uh, he was actually the, 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 the ended up playing Walter White. So the theory is that Walter White is Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle, and there's a lot of similarities between the two. So uh, apparently, uh, Hal is Walt after he enters the witness protection program. Wow. So the theory turns them all on uh, on their head, proposing that Walter White. Uh, well, actually, the main the main theory was that uh, how the dad was Walt after witness protection. But then this theory turns those on its head because it proposes that Walter White is Malcolm as an adult. Both characters are brilliant, gifted with chemistry. They're manipulative, have huge egos. There's like a whole bunch of uh, wow. similarities. And uh, it said Ma- Malcolm would likely have grown up to strongly resemble his father, uh, who was also portrayed by Brian Cranston. Um, they both have wow, over, they both have overbearing mothers that they dislike. Um, and in Malcolm in the Middle, they both um, they never had uh, they never officially released her surname, so they could have been it could have been White. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, they, uh, Malcolm cut ties from his family after college, adopted his grandfather's name, started a new life for himself in Arizona. That makes a lot of sense. And this is by Looper.com. That's absolutely childhood ruin because that's. Yeah. That's a that's a that's childhood ruin. Well, no, because that's Breaking the thing. Bad? No, you gotta think though. <laughs> he wasn't a child for Malcolm in the Middle. Or Breaking <laughs> bad. Knock it off. Nigga. No, but what I'm saying is, is that writers do stuff like that. You know, being that I am a writer as well, sometimes you like to just throw little <laughs> curveballs, and they do shit like that. So sometimes. that would make sense. Are we sometimes. gonna do the Fresh Prince one? You wanna do the Fresh Prince? Fresh Prince one. This one's Fresh is real. Prince one. All right, this so one's dope. fuck Teddy's whole life up. <laughs> I saw so it. there's there's one about Fresh Prince that he is dead. 
Um, he got shot in the basketball altercation. Basically, he died in that altercation uh, on the basketball court. He he uh, was sent to his uncle's house, uh, which was considered heaven. The cabin was God, which was weird because that was Quincy Jones. So right. in that theory, Quincy mm-hmm. Jones is God. So God took him to heaven. Uh, so yeah, he uh, he basically went to a big house with friends and family, and his parents rarely visit. And when they do, that's basically them visiting Will's grave. That's a great Come one. Come on, man. That's a great one, man. Open your imagination, man. No, I ain't no imagination. You gave us a show. Stick to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga crying on his daddy and shit. That shit was real. You follow he love me. You ain't dead. You real. Remember when we did those monologues for Teddy vs. Doughboy? Yeah. Mm. I watched Oh, wow. Those. Yeah, you remember that? I do remember that. No, you didn't watch me, nigga. You just got lucky. What? Fuck you, nigga. There's another you taught me how to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Talk and do Dookie? Come on, now, bars. Yeah, well, bars. I feel you. Uh, there's a there's another really dark one about Charlie Brown. I don't know if you guys. I know you. you I haven't heard this one. You were alive during Charlie Brown. You fuck boy. Uh, <laughs> basically, <laughs> this one is quick, but it's super dark. It basically says that Chuck's uh, his his um, down and out state has more to do with cancer than self esteem. Oh or my bad luck. god! You think it was going through chemo? Yeah, that's why he. Uh, they say that's, that's why, why bald? he's bald. They say that his uh, the lovable protagonist is merely dreaming up his experiences from the confines of his sick bed. That's, that's too super, dark. Super that's too sad. dark for me to sign off on. That's but a, a lot that's of times that'd be the ruined. inspiration, though. Huh? Like pain and but shit. But I feel like cancer wasn't really around back then. What the fuck is you talking about? Cancer's like just. Ca- I, I don't want to be. Think cancer okay, just went just viral dropped. last week. Well, just I'm just dropped. saying. No, I'm just saying that this cartoon came out like in the '40s. R. Kelly and cancer was born in the same year. No, I'm just saying that I just cancer. I, I, I don't want to be sensitive, insensitive cancer to new. cancer, but I thought cancer came around like maybe the '60s. I don't know. That came out like in the forties. I mean, like I don't know when around. diseases drop, really. Right. I I, I just assume diseases they were be always having, around. Diseases they be don't having. ever have a release date. Like, hey, next month. <laughs> <laughs> got this Syphilis. new gonorrhea. Super gonorrhea. Syphilis. There is a th- there is a disease called super gonorrhea, and there's no cure, so you better be careful. What out makes there. it super? Uh, they can't cure that shit, and it'll kill you. Dead as fried chicken. Yeah. That was Why a you saying like that? weird analogy from an STD to something delicious. <laughs> 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 Golden crispy crunch. <laughs> You'll be Super dead on the plate with three of your peers. <laughs> Sides of biscuit. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Sweet tea, bitch. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> nah, for real. Super gonorrhea is a real thing. <laughs> And That's they the can't, because normally if you get gonorrhea, you just piss, it hurts, you get a pill, you're okay. Right. But this gonorrhea, oh no. That's <laughs> like AIDS on fast track, nigga. you be dead by the end of the week. So AIDS be, on fast be careful. <laughs> be careful. Super gonorrhea is a thing. Well, I don't want to end on that, so yeah. I'm going to end on a lighter one. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm going to end on a lighter, a lighter <laughs> conspiracy. This one is actually about Sesame Street. So... Uh-oh. A lot of people have wondered why the hell there's, why Count is a character. Like, why there's Mm -hmm. monsters and grouches and stuff, and then there's a vampire Mm -hmm. on some random, for some random reason. So, people think that Count is actually a monster who kills and consumes the kids that come to Sesame Street. And this is is somehow lighter than all the (laughs) other things we've talked about? He's a (laughs) child murderer? Well, then cancer, yeah. (laughs) Jesus. And super gonorrhea? No, it's not as dark as cancer. He kills children. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I don't listen. listen. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) He feasts on the blood of young Sesame Street goers while enslaving the resident adults as his minions. It's the only thing that explains why you never see the same kids for more than a couple of episodes. Because they grow Art. up. <laughs> they get out of the work as actors as other older kids. <laughs> Fuck, boy. Yeah, you got to keep paying them niggas bonuses and shit. You got to give these niggas so. sag wages. Get this right. motherfucker out of here, man. Get this young kid in here. Little nigga. <laughs> work for Crafty. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? But people be saying, <laughs> people are saying that he's a fucking murderer. He's a serial the murderer. The count and he be counting the kids? I mean, that's more of the game to teach them how to count, and then he actually kills them. Nah, we'll teach you a game, but you don't need this information because you're going <laughs> to die. <laughs> Fuck, that's Wait, weird. go back down. This says, is that from Greece? Yeah. Sandy is dead? Sandy's dead the whole time. Greece was what? not one of the ones I thought you'd be into. You watch, whoa, Greece. you watch Greece? <laughs> Beauty school dropout. <laughs> okay, well, let's do You watch Grease. <laughs> Grease is hard as fuck, Teddy, bro. you're the hoodest West L.A. nigga <laughs> in bro, the world. Bro. You watch Grease? You have $11 worth of jewelry on <laughs> right now. <laughs> and you talk about my movie. I I you him. watch Grease. <laughs> In a leather yes. jacket, dancing around a mechanic. It's a big ass leather up. jacket. <laughs> Grease you up. watch Grease? Y'all niggas sleep. Bro. I couldn't see you watching Grease. Maybe if it was called Sporting Waves, that would just be more. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Grease? No, Come no. on, give it to me. Let no. me have it, guys. No. Grease? No, 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 no. All right, tell them the thing. Tell them the thing for Grease. 
All right, so and then do Titanic, and we'll end on Titanic. Okay, yeah, okay. that's a good one right. too. So, um, one fan theory has now turned the whole movie on itself, on its head, uh, suggesting that Sandy was dead the whole movie. It's theorized that Sandy drowned on the beach um, when uh, she nearly drowned. Sing, uh, that's what Danny sings in Summer Nights. Yeah. Uh, and Danny was unable to save her. The rest Sun of the movie plays blood. out is Sandy's dream while really she's in a, com- a coma, slowly becoming brain dead. These are horrible. Uh, at the I end of the movie, this. at the end of the movie, the happy couple flies away in an airborne red convertible. I remember that. It symbolizes her flying off to heaven. A darker theory suggests that Sandy commits suicide at the end of the movie and then flies off in a car with Danny. Either way, she dies. Either way, <laughs> the fans... If she dies, she dies. Way, again, bitch, if she dies, she dies. But she's absolutely <laughs> going to be dead. Either way. These fans are really want some dark shit to be tied into this. Okay, now do Titanic, and then we'll go on to the special announcement. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, so there's a couple of interesting theories about Titanic. One is that this one is kind of weird. Um, if you don't know what Titanic is, it's a story about that big ass boat that sank. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, there's a theory that Jack Dawson is a time traveler, and <laughs> he basically had to go back in time and prevent Rose from killing herself uh, when she was about to jump off the the ship. So she was just really depressed. Yeah, you remember that was a very uh, overlooked part. She was yeah. like so unhappy with her life that she was about to jump off the boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then he just took her and was like, no, nah, bitch, no. <laughs> Little did she know she wasn't going to have to do that. Just wait around. <laughs> boat ain't going to make it. <laughs> you you got to do it. shit. <laughs> Don't rush God. That's basically the boy. <laughs> you know, y'all. Oh, you, oh, you good. God was like, no, 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 you good. Uh, we're going to wrap you up anyway. You, go, you good. You're going to be in that water soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, but basically, they're saying if, if she had jumped in, the boat would have had to stop to save her, and then it would have missed the, uh, oh. the iceberg, which is dumb because it seems like the, the iceberg was hit because the, the captain wasn't shit. The navigator wasn't shit. So I don't think that would have changed if they right. had to save a girl, but whatever. Um, so basically, he had to go back in time to make sure that the ship would sink. So Because he didn't really act interact with a lot of other people. And remember, his name wasn't like on... List and shit. He in the won movie. the he won the, the ticket out of a poker game. He did. You right. Damn, that's true too. Yeah. That was the other theory is that he just never existed at all. Not right. the time traveler. She was just depressed. But uh, she was. Just, Y'all know white people stay up. making shit up though, right? Like, this that is, is true. White people do. That's we one of their favorite past. We only hear about the black people committing crimes, <clears throat> but never about the love stories. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was in love with a whole nigga that Jack, <laughs> Jack did not exist. Man. <laughs> She's like, but I have a painting. It's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she was just laying there. Whatever, naked. bitch. <laughs> Passenger one. 37 now. <laughs> <laughs> so ass on this boat. <laughs> well, I like childhood ruin. I think yes. um, there's so many of these. Let's I feel do like more I, might, I might do some more yes. later. Later on. Later All on. right. Well, now let me do the transition on this. <laughs> All right. Now. Are you gonna do there's been a lot of there's not a there's been a lot of speculation. Now, you know, t- shut up, nigga. These changes the reason why it's raining in LA because this is all ice. <laughs> no, the rain is the reason why them changes turn to brown. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like I keep flipping them. Right. Anyway, all right. So everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows. We did season one versus Teddy versus Doughboy. Yeah. Still to this day, one of the most successful uh, shows on the platform. Just mm-hmm. me and this big glute going back and forth doing <laughs> stupid things, and the, the the audience has spoken and they said, you know what, we want that back, and we've kind of been teasing fans with it. And now we are here in front of Bro, you. Bro, just say what the fuck. Let you me say, hey, shut up, man. That's how I bring it in. Oh, let me Fire on you, cuz. <laughs> I'm here to proudly announce season two. We nah. have just broken production. <laughs> and hey. we are back for season two. I'm going to kick your ass in every possible way. I'm going to make it not debatable. There was a lot of debatables in the first season. This is the season of undebatables. I'm going to show the world I'm better than you, prettier than you. It's not a you. competition with oh. me, though, boy. It's oh, not, yeah. That's, that's basically what nah. I've been trying to show nah, you this man. whole time. Nah, man. It's a competition with you, your gums, and your hair, <laughs> and yourself. You feel me? It's a battle within. It's a battle within. How how can I not be this self-proclaimed fuck nigga from Sacramento? That's, that's been your mission statement. Since it has. But now we are officially back. The 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 talk can stop, and yes, sir. we are gonna go at it. And um, I'm excited about it, man. This is you gonna know. be a fun one, man. Yeah, yeah and we got sir. and we got Patrick Cloud producing that motherfucker. Hey, 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 hey. So it's gonna be lit, man. And uh, I'm just ready to whoop your ass in front of the audience again, man. Yes, sir. They deserve to see it, and you deserve to have it happen to you. Hmm. Um, 
Pause. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me, nigga. So, oh, yeah. Yes. Teddy so, versus Doughboy. Season, season two. two. Official season two. Official coming out. Yes. Coming soon. V soon. Uh, yes, this will be the second uh, the second series uh, under our T Vol Vimeo paywall. I know. That so get your five dollars together save now. Wait, five your four five. That's uh, like three ninety nine. Three nine. Get your four dollars together now. Saving up now. We don't want. We don't want to hear all that shit. This is premium nigga. good stuff. And we're doing a lot of shit. It's gonna be fun. So please, and if you guys support like you say you do, we give you guys free content every day, guys. Yeah. Just say hey for this one thing. I got four dollars. If it's not four dollars an episode. Four dollars for the entire season of me kicking his ass, and there will be merch available. Merch there might, might even be a couple opportunities for some live live shows. So you so know, just support. Be some live shows. You know, Get you gotta you gotta allow the people that you love to grow, and you know what I'm saying. This is what we do. So support, man. I had yeah. to leave so Doughboy's gums could have some space. <laughs> <laughs> but can we, Pat? I want to ask you this: Can we get it in the budget? to get him a haircut before he gets to set. Because I don't Absolutely. even want to look at what's under there. Whoa, first <laughs> off, Ooh. don't touch a nigga hat. Ooh. Second <laughs> off, can we challenge? get it in the budget to finish your watch? <laughs> <laughs> Is that in the budget? Let's <laughs> talk about what you can say. Nigga, watch is 40% loaded, nigga. <laughs> This we say my watch is buffering. Nigga, this shit is not fresh at all. I know a lot of niggas. Ain't hey, none of them had two tone, nigga. Let me get the bullshit on me. Never, nigga. So yes, it's gonna be time. It's gonna be good Show times. Show them the back of that. Let okay, fine. I'm on, I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. Hey, you saw that in the middle of the mall. Oh. Like I need that. King of Do the you got change for a twenty? That's him and Brian today. Pumper checking out the same. Me and Brian Pumper, you fuck boy. <laughs> Brian Pumper jewelry collection. <laughs> well, we're gonna be back. Plenty of insults and all that shit is going to come, and it's going to be going down. I yes, have sir. been Doughboy. I am Patrick Cloud. I'm Teddy Ray. Yeah. This has been Internet is Undefeated. You fuck boys and girls. Woo. We'll see Shout you later. Out to the squad. Internet is undefeated. Internet is undefeated. No, nigga, that's happy. Internet fun. is undefeated. At least through the remix. Internet is undefeated. Internet's undefeated. Internet's undefeated. I don't know what notes those right. No, you know the remix right. of the Happy Birthday song. Internet's undefeated. See you next week. <laughs> what up? Thank you for tuning in to another installment of the Internet is Undefeated. Please like the video. Share Share the video, hop in the comments, let us know what you think. If you just want to hear the audio, follow us on Spotify and Google Play. I have been Doughboy. Peace.